Hello and welcome back to another episode to LinkedIn to Kitsifos. In my previous video, I mentioned that I was going to show you how I made a very similar input in Teddy to demonstrate how powerful this input method is and also to show that for simple structure, it is even faster. So now I'm just going to recreate the model that had been generated with the SSD Sophie Plus graphical workflow. In the first module, in module Aqua, I have created two materials, namely a concrete material with number one, and the classification of the material is C45 concrete. And I have also defined a reinforcing steel material with number two, and the classification is B500B. In order these classifications be reasonable, First, of course, you must define a code according to you are going to work in this project. You can do that with the help of command norm. And in this case, I have chosen the absolute general Euro code 1992-2004 and the category B. In module Aqua, one could have created cross sections. However, since we are modeling a quad element here, the only geometrical property we need is the thickness of the quad element. And this can be defined at the definition of the quad element in the next module, Sophie Mesh A. But first, in the module Sophie Mesh A, you need to create the system with the help of command syst. As you can see, I have set up a three dimensional special structure with a group divisor being equal with 100 and the direction of the gravity is pointing in the positive set direction. Then I have generated the finite element nodes with their number, with their X coordinate and Y coordinate and Z coordinates. From the values of the coordinates, one can really see that the nodes are one meter away from each other on, along the side of the square. Then in group number one, I have generated a quad element with number one between the points for the finite element nodes one, two, three, four, made out of material number one, whose reinforcement material is made out of material number two. The formulation of the quad element can be defined with parameter NRA and the value seven means that the slab stiffness, the membrane stiffness, and the in-plane rotations are all active for this quad element. Finally, with parameter T, I have defined the thickness of this quad element being equal with 400 millimeter. Then in group number two, I have created the springs. At the position of the number of the spring element, I have simply used a minus sign, which means I let the system automatically numbering the spring elements and I created the springs at node one, two, three, four, respectively. The direction of the springs was set with parameter TZ being equal with one, which means that the spring elements are pointing in the positive Z direction. The spring constant values were defined with parameters CP and CT in the axial and in the transverse directions, respectively, and the value was chosen to be used 800 kilonewton per cubic meter. In my graphical input, I used 50 kilonewton per cubic meter. However, in this example file, I played around a little bit bigger internal forces. And therefore, I had to provide a little bit greater spring constants. If I am working with the same internal forces as I did in my graphical example file, of course, the 50 kN per cubic meter constants are working well here in this example too. Okay, after the definition of the finite elements, I have generated the unit loads. In the next module, Sophie load, first I always started with the definition of a new load case with a title, and I created the loads as a nodal loads at, for example, nodes two and three, the type of the loading was set to MYY with a certain value to be able to generate the previously described internal force loading 
on the quad element. As you can see, I have defined eight load cases that are corresponding to the eight internal forces of the quad element. And I want to point out that this is when you can spare a lot of time with the definition of this model. In the graphical way, I had to click on every node and uh, fill out the dialog box accordingly. Here, basically, I just had to enter one command line and then simply copy it many times and adjust only the type of the loading and the value of it. Of course, the other case when I spared a lot of time during the definition was the generation of the model because of the simple geometry. Okay, let's move further on. So after I generated the unit loads, I had to combine them into new load cases. I did it in the very same Sophie load module. As you can see, again, I have set up a new load case with a title and I just simply copied in the load cases with command copy and with factorizing the unit loads, the real acting internal load will be the factor of the individual load cases. When we finished with defining all the single load cases and the combinations, all we need to do is simply run the linear analysis with the help of module ASE. After controlling the output of this linear analysis with command echo, I simply activated all the groups with full thickness and let the following load cases be analyzed. As you can see, this type of text input makes the whole workflow much faster. So I encourage you to create similar simple example files to play with Sophistic. Okay, with this information, I would like to conclude this video. As now I presented two different ways of inputting the same model. And in the next video, I would like to create reinforcement or define reinforcement in the quad element and perform the design of the quad element according to the Bauman method, after which I'm going to give you a detailed explanation of this so-called Bauman method. Okay, then see you in the next one. Bye.